Hey guys, so should you pull for 1.3 banner or wait for 1.4 banner? Honestly, it all comes down to who you like more. Don't let my opinion affect your decision, as character design is more important than meta. For 1.3, we have Imbinter Lune. For his featured 4 star characters, we have Asta, Yukong, and Much. His DPS is certainly better compared to both Jing Liu and Topaz, speculations, but I'm very confident. If you have not put a 5 star DPS or a second DPS for your second team, he is definitely a good choice and if you do not have Bronya, even more plus points as he works especially good with 4 star supports compared to other 5 star DPS. Or if you are going for a mono imaginary team, Imbital Lune is definitely the character you want to pull for. You don't actually even need his signature light cone as you got 4 of the Aeon which gives him similar damage to his signature light cone speculations. For the second half we have Fushen. For her featured 4 star characters, we have the new mono quantum healer, Hook and Pella. So should you pull for Fushen's banner, the new healer is really good especially with beef destruction units especially with light blade. Comparing to Natasha, she has around the same or slightly higher healing output, though you do not need links actually as Natasha can clear MOC 10 with one team and fire MC on another team, perfectly fine. Though of course a secondary healer will make things easier for you, there will be better healers in future. Onwards to Fushen, she's the best preservation you need to offer, but I actually would recommend her only if you're on a mono quantum team, as 5 star abundance character is more autoplay friendly and maybe more skill point efficient. And future 5 star harmony debuffers are more important, you can even skip Fushen banner as there will most likely be a new 5 star abundance character in patch 1.5 this is all speculation though if you feel like you don't need fusion you can just build bit you can just build pt and try to pull for links if you want her but don't get me wrong fusion sustain is really good and i'm pulling for both her and links as i like both their design fusion banner offers the most value for 1.4 we have both jing liu and topaz so should you pull for Jing Liu, she's a destruction character and seems like she's able to get a lot of turns like CD or even more turns and she dishes out both single and AOE damage speculations. Well if you have Bronya plus Jing Liu, which are the best buffers for her, Jing Liu damage will most likely just be on par with Inbuter Lune. Though it all comes down to which character you like better, I speculate that Ting Yun will be on Jing Liu's banner and that her signature icon will be better for her by huge margins compared to Invisible Lune. Conclusion just proof for who you like. Now for Topaz banner, we will most likely have Gui Naifei, sorry if I pronounce her wrongly, the new 4 star Tani DOT DOD character, definitely good for Kafka. Though you might not even need her since we have both Sampo and Luka already. Now for Topaz kit, my speculation is that her kit is that she's a new Han archetype character. She will be more focused on sub DPS instead of main DPS, even though she's a hunt character and her sub DPS is more like a buff, which is more targeted to follow up attacks for your whole team. She is a good pair with Jinren, Himiko characters which has follow up attack consistently. Not sure about Clara though, she is great if you want a mono fire team if you are silver wolf. Honestly, I don't think she is a good pool unless in future there are better characters with follow up attacks which give better synergy. There may be a character better for him at patch 1.6 and above maybe even like patch 2.0 speculations if you're getting her she's more of like an investment for future characters like silver wolf if you're wondering about dps most likely her dps isn't better than cd but not by a huge margin and i believe to pass angel like on is a must pull as it will offer huge damage boost margins and better sub dps boost as she's a new archetype so i don't really think that there's any like one visual suit her family and that's it for this guy